And in 1910, a Ford Model T owner urged a scientist named Walter Snelling to examine vapors rising from his gas tank vents. Two years later, Snelling filed a patent for the oil-borne gas, propane. Propane is one of those fuels that nobody makes on purpose. It is a byproduct, and we've been able to uh, uh, basically, as an industry, uh, build a business uh, on a product that in the early years of, of the industry was literally flared off as a waste product. Propane arises at multiple stages during refining. Think of it as pure bonus. It's an energy-rich hydrocarbon. It has about two and three-quarter times as much hydrogen per molecule as, say, a natural gas molecule. It's also a very, very clean burning fuel, and it's cost-effective. Propane produces 18 to 24 percent less CO2 than gasoline. Today, 17 million homes rely on propane for home heating, cooking, and power. Organic farmers use its heat to wither weeds in their fields and to sanitize livestock houses without chemicals. And of course, more than 50 million homes use it to fire up the family barbecue. Imagine 2% of the energy market being tapped in by 50 million plus uh, uh, folks just for barbecuing. Portability has always been a prime advantage of all oil and its derivatives. Compared to coal, for example, it's an easy resource to move. Oil is very versatile. And one of the key things about it is that it's a liquid, which makes it easily transportable. Propane is no exception. Manufacturers put the gas under pressure, which causes it to reform as a liquid, making it 270 times more compact. Because it can be stored as a liquid and consumed as a gas, you have a great deal of options in terms of the type of applications that it can be put to. And that seems sort of counterintuitive in many respects, but that's one of the unique properties of propane is that it can be a liquid and it can be used as a gas as well. Only when the tank valve is opened and the pressure inside normalized does the liquid propane return to its original gas form. And at that point, it's ready to roll. Propane is the most widely used alternative motor fuel in the world. There are about 11 million vehicles that, that operate on propane every day. Uh, here in the United States, anyone that's been to Las Vegas and taken a taxi cab from the airport to a hotel is ridden in a propane-powered taxi cab.